Getting started stitching with Stitch and Play is easy. Depending on the abilities of your child, they may need help with the getting started process. So we're going to walk you through that. Take your yarn out, your attachment stickers, and whichever card your child wants to stitch on. Cut off with some scissors from home a long piece of yarn about three feet long and thread your needle so that the two ends of the yarn meet up on the back and we pull the yarn to the needle to the opposite side tie a knot on the back determine which side they want to stitch on so they could stitch along with the pattern or on the blank side on the back and grab one of your attachment stickers and use it to secure the yarn on the back of the work and start stitching. If you run out of stickers or you don't have them with you, you can use simply a piece of tape or you could use a tapeless method by just tying the yarn to itself on the back of the work. When your child has run out of yarn, try to have them stop with a short tail or a long tail on the back of the work, which can then be used to tie off with the first knot on the back or really any kind of knot you can make on the back of the work. Cut off the yarn and thread a new piece onto your needle, secure it on the back and get started. Stitch and play cards can be reused over and over again. Just cut the yarn off on the card when you're done and stitch a new project next time. If your child wants to save their work and hang it up, you can use the yarn and the holes on the corner of your stitching cards and either hang one card on top of another to create a wall hanging. You could hang them next to each other as a bunting, or you can just put some yarn into the corners of one card tie a little knot and hang it up just like that we hope you like using your stitching cards bye bye